from Harvest Shield, and this is a quick demo of our brand new inventory feature and how um, you can use this to keep track of various inventories that you have on the, on the farm. For example, bale stacks. So the inventory um, capability here of Harvest Shield, we've, there's another video, I'll, I'll link it um, in the bottom for you to look at how uh, fuel uh, works with inventories and how machine logs and refueling machines um, works with that. But today we're gonna focus on storage. So if we go into the new inventory page um, and we're gonna create a bail stack, let's call this bail stack one, it's a bail stack. Um, the subtype is, you can call this whatever you want um, to help you keep these organized, uh, whether it's a shed, bale stack, um, or a particular location. Uh, we're gonna wanna keep that as storage. Um, minimum uh, and maximum quantities. Um, these are gonna be used in the future to kind of show, alert you um, if they're exceeded. Um, or, or you go below that. So maybe we want to know if there's less than 10 bales in the stack or more than uh, 60 bales in the stack. Um, and you can give the inventory a location, which makes it really easy to find them on the map. So let's say um, if we move this map around, let's say the location of this particular bale stack is gonna be in the corner of um, this field. If we create the inventory there, you can see that we've got that now on this inventories page. On the menu, uh, there's a um, quick way to kind of filter between the, the storage types of inventory and the fuel inventory. So if we go into storage, uh, you can see we've just got the storage here. And say you've got sheds in here or um, other type, different types of storage, you can search for just bale stack um, and that will return you all of the, uh, or shed, that will return you all of those that meet that criteria. So um, what we are gonna do is um, if we go onto the phone, um, Give that a moment to just sync over if we go into the inventory and see. Okay, it's still. We've now got the bail stack here that's shown up. And what's cool is uh, you can go to that map view. Um, this is the list view. You can toggle between a map view where you can scroll around on the map and see these different things in the list view. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna start a job. So on the jobs page, uh, we're gonna schedule, save a job, uh, and we're gonna just save the job so we're not scheduling that. We are gonna be doing um, some haulage. Uh, we start today, 10.56. Uh, let's say, you know, it took a couple of hours to complete or three hours to complete. Um, go next. Select the client that is for, if that's relevant, um, and uh, which field this is coming out of. The, these are optional, you can skip them, but let's say it's coming from, uh, I know this is a different field than where we said the stack was, but uh, let's say that the uh, bales are coming out of this field and actually being gonna be stacked in a neighboring field. So if we select, select that, we've selected it up there and go next. Um, the machinery that you're using for the job, so we'll just use these two demo versions. Um, and then yeah, we've got the the job sheet here. Um, we're gonna go into the load section of this uh, and we're gonna change it to count and we are gonna stack 55 bales uh, into the load location. So here you've got the load location, you can click onto that and we can select bale stack one press save 
and then go back. We've got 55 bales, bale stack one. Uh, and for now, we're just going to press save job. Great, the job's been saved. So we can see the completed job here. So if we go into this um, bale stack, you can see that the total quantity has been updated with 55. And that's because we've, on the job, um, put selected the inventory. We've said that the quantity is 55. And we've got the link here to the job that that was actually done on. So if you click on that, that takes you to the job sheet. So you've got this record of what has gone in to this bale stack. Now, say um, that we want to do another job and we want to take some of that out, we can go uh, through the same process again. And if we uh, just quickly go through that, um, we're going to skip the field this time. Uh, and we'll use the same machinery. I'm going to go into load, count, um, and this time we're going to take out maybe 15 bales uh, and we're going to take them out of stack one. Um, so if we go back uh, and then save that job. Refresh the page. And you can see that we've uh, the quantity's updated we've taken out 15 bales from that stack on job number two. And you can go into click on that to see the um, job record itself. Uh, you can also see this information straight from the phone. So if we go into inventory and we go into that bale stack there, you can see these two records. Um, and it isn't a requirement to record entries on a job. You can actually add a new entry right here. So let's say, um, someone's gone back to the bale stack, they've counted again, there's actually not 40 bales there, there is actually um, 38, so there's two missing. Um, we're going to want to put amend that, so we'll put in amend out and two, um, and that will Sorry, I didn't press save there. New entry. Uh, two. Amend out. So what we can do there is we can also add a new entry. Um, let's say that um, someone's gone back and counted the stack. There's only 38 bells there. We need to amend that down. So there's two that have gone missing. So we're going to put in an entry of two, amend out, create that transaction. Um, the total is now the same as what we counted in the field. We know that two went missing, but we don't know what happened to them. We know that they weren't definitely waste. Um, and so that helps you keep track of what's coming in, out, the wastage, um, and any unexplained differences in the quantity. So thanks for watching this demo. If you have any questions, please get in touch. My name is Chris, um, and my email is chris at harvestyield.com. Um, yeah, please get in touch if we can help you with your farming business. Thanks.